Welcome to Seven Report. Today we're taking our first look at the ViperFi Vox TC Temperature Control 50 Watt Mod, supplied to us by our friends at ViperFi. So what we're going to do, change our camera angle, take a look at what's inside the box, put a battery in it, put a tank on it, go through some of the settings, how you get from temperature control to wattage and back and forth, and how you adjust your different settings. Then we'll come back to this angle and take a very first vape on the VaporFi Vox TC Temperature Control 50 Watt Mod from VaporFi. Here we have the VaporFi Vox TC Temperature Control 50 Watt Mod. First open it up and there's the mod itself. I really like how that pops on the black. I think they also offer it in silver, but it's uh, got the logo on there. Vox TC, this is where your display is going to be, the three buttons, your fire and power buttons, your plus and minus buttons, the battery compartment and that micro USB charging port. We'll set that aside for just a second, see what else is in there. Comes with a well-written owner's manual, and as always, we suggest that you read the manual fully before using any device, and especially a temperature control device if it's your first such device. But this gives you all the information you need, how to get the battery in there, how to set the uh, different settings to switch back and forth from temperature control and wattage modes and below that the micro usb charging cable and vapor fi really good about this this is uh, i think at least the second vapor fi mod we've gotten where they include the 18650 battery so let's go ahead and put that battery in. I have actually charged that fully just to make sure before so this demonstration could go on uninterrupted. So we just unscrew the battery compartment and there's one little thing I'll show you here that on uh, with battery compartments like this, this little copper circular piece in the center of the contact for the battery sometimes if it's down too far, the battery won't make good contact, and so you'll need to loosen it up a little bit, extend it so that it makes real solid contact with your battery. The battery goes in plus side down. Put that in there and we'll turn it so we can see the display as I put the bottom back on there. And it should. Once it makes contact, yep, here we go. Vapor five. <clears throat> now you click the fire button five times to turn it on or off. Here you're going to see vapor five. And before we can do anything else, we will put a tank on there. So I have the Kanger Tech Sub Tank Plus Black Edition with a nickel 200 coil inside of it, and I filled the tank with the VaporFi Grand Reserve Katcha Latte Premium E-Juice, and we'll be doing a full review on that juice here in the next little while. Actually, I have quite a few E-Juices to go through. And... Do reviews on. Okay, so here we go. Now you can see it's reading 410 degrees, reading that coil at point to one and it's set at 35 degrees or rather 35 watts. Now I'm going to go to the manual and show you what you should do the very first time you put a tank on or a new coil once you if you change out your coil. So setting the atomizer resistance says to set and to read the atomizer Press the power and minus buttons together. They recommend doing this every time a new atomizer is used on the Vox TC. So you got to watch very quickly because it goes really fast. Power button, 
minus button, we're going to hold them in together. Read this at 0.21, and so that's what it's going to do. Now, to get the different settings, plus and minus together, it's going to show you working mode. Press the fire button to get the temp or power for wattage. And when you're in temp mode, press that power button again and that puts you in temperature mode. Now, hold the plus and minus in again, press the plus button, temperature adjust, you hit that power button and there's where you can adjust your temperature. And it will increase or decrease in 10 degree Fahrenheit increments. So you can set your power, let's take it to 390 so we can see for sure, hit the fire button again and now you see it's reading displaying 390 degrees. Now you can adjust the wattage by pressing the plus and minus buttons at any time on that main display. If you want to change the temperature again, you have to go back through that. Plus and minus buttons together, temperature adjust, press the fire button, and then again you can adjust your temperature. And then you press the fire button and that sets it, and now you see it reads 420 degrees. Now if you wanted to put it in Working mode, press the plus button, temperature, power, press that, and now it's going to be in wattage mode, and you see that there's no temperature displayed. It's only displaying the voltage, the resistance, and your wattage. But we do have a temperature control coil on there, so we're going to go back to temp adjust, 420, let's, let's set it at 400 to start with. And now we've, now we've adjusted the temperature, but we still have left it in wattage mode. So we need to again press plus and minus, working mode, power, plus and minus. Now temperature, once that's highlighted or showing, you press the power button and now it is back in temperature control mode. There is one little other thing I wanted to show you. You hold the uh, plus button and the fire button together and that will lock the unit and this is a lock that's not just locking your power settings not just locking your temperature or wattage increase or decrease you can't even fire it this is this is a real solid totally locked down so if you're transporting the unit in a pocket or in a purse you don't want to turn it off but you don't want it accidentally firing, you lock it. To unlock it, again, power button and fire button at the same time. And now it's unlocked. And then you can adjust and fire. And that's pretty much the settings. Now we'll come back with a little bit more depth when we do the full in-depth review on the Vapor 5 Box TC Temperature Control 50 Watt Mod. What I'm going to do now is reset the camera angle. By now that juice is soaked in there real good. Let's see, we've got it set at 400 degrees. So that's where we'll do our very first vape on the Vapor 5 Vox TC Temperature Control Mod. We have the battery installed. We have the Kanger Tech sub tank plus black edition with a nickel 200 coil and we have the vaporfy grand reserve catch latte juice in there we're on temperature control mode set at 400 degrees and 36 watts it's reading that coil is a 0.22 ohm resistance let's give it a first date I like this juice. I can't wait to vape it for a while and come back with that full review. But this is the first look at the Vapor 5 Box TC, so let's concentrate more on that. I really like the looks of this, the black one. Like I said, I think they also make it stainless. Uh, it feels really nice in my hand, solid without being too heavy. Uh, the buttons are really easy to get to, the display nice and clear and easy to read. We've got battery level. I think it's going to last a decent amount of time on temperature control. That's not bad. 
Now let's see if I can remember how to do this without going to the manual. And we're going to change the temperature. Working mode, I want to go to temperature adjust. There we go. That was pretty easy. Let's take it to 450. Yep, it's reading 450. 36 watts and see what that does. That's significantly warmer, but it really tastes good. And that's that not that difficult. You know, some temperature control mods, every one I've used, I think, has a different methodology behind adjusting your temperature, uh, changing the settings from temperature to variable wattage. When I first looked at the manual, this one seemed a little bit more complicated. I tell you what, though, it makes it much more difficult to accidentally change those settings. And you saw me do it right there, basically from memory, from just having looked at the uh, manual a couple of times, not too difficult to change that temperature. And you're not going to change it inadvertently, which is a real good thing. I hate that when you accidentally hit the button and you change your temperature settings when you've got it just right. Yeah, that's very nice. I've always been impressed with the uh, lineup of the Vox mods from Vaporfy. And they make several different um, wattage temperature control ones as well. I'll have a full list of them on the accompanying article on our website, 7report.com. A link to Vaporfy where you can find out more about the Vox TC, the 50 watt model. And they've got other ones as well, as I've said. And I have always been impressed with the quality. They have a wonderful warranty and guarantee and no questions asked. Uh, kind of return policy. I'll outline all of that on the article on our website as well. So thanks again to our friends at Vapor5 for providing the Vox TC temperature control mod for 7 Report Review. Thank you for being with us today on 7 Report. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out the website too, 7report.com. I'll be coming back in a couple of weeks after I've used this extensively with a full in-depth review on the Vapor5 Vox TC 50 watt mod. Thanks again for being with us today on 7 Report.